right down here on this beach, and we're going to run the net right out there. I'm Dr. Chris Bunt. I'm a fisheries research scientist with Biotactic Fish and Wildlife Research, and uh, today we are conducting a population estimate of sport fish in the Binbrook Reservoir. So we're looking at uh, the carrying capacity of the reservoir, and we're interested primarily in um, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, pike, and walleye. To so catch the fish, we're using uh, electrofishing. So we have an electrofishing boat um, that uses electricity to draw fish to, to the boat, and then we have netters that net the fish uh, from the front of the boat. Um, we've got a couple of different nets set in the lake. We've got a fike net, which is sort of a passive trap net that fish swim into, um, and we usually leave that set for, for several hours. And we've got some other nets that we leave set for shorter periods of time, which are uh, called trammel nets, and the fish get wrapped up in these nets and um, we can use them in deeper water and de different types of habitat that we're not able to sample effectively with our electrofishing boat. Safety. Safety is everything. Um, we have to wear protective gear, waders, nets. We have to ensure um, our hands are not in the water. Um, as a human, it could stop your heart. So basically, when you see a fish get shocked, you want to get it out of the water as soon as possible and put it in the cooler so it um, has minimal contact with the electricity. So we mark where we start and then move along the shoreline and shock for a thousand seconds. And that's our, our unit of effort is a thousand seconds. So you get a snapshot of time, but of the complete diversity and the complete abundance to the degree that you can catch everything that might spring up. This is sort of a classic study. It doesn't require a lot of real high-tech equipment, aside from the electrofishing boat. We don't necessarily need to use the electrofishing boat. These sorts of studies have been done for about, for close to 100 years. And it's called a mark recapture study. So what we're doing in the, right now is we're trying to catch as many fish as we can, and we're marking them externally. Um, and then we're going to come back in or September and October, and we're going to fish the lake again. We're going to use the same, amount, the same types of gear, the same amount of um, effort, and we're going to look at the ratios of fish that we catch that have tags versus those that don't have tags, the total numbers of fish that we have, and then we're going to plug those numbers into three different equations, and we'll be able to get three different estimates of the population size of the different species of fish that we're trying to study here.